What's poppin' mangoes? It's your boy Black Ginger back with another episode and today I'm gonna be joining every other reaction channel and start looking at some Jubilee videos because apparently it works so you can either hate me or you can wait for me to start doing something different. Either way we're gonna get started today. So today's video is six criminals versus one undercover cop. This is gonna be fun. Let's see what's gonna happen. So what is everybody's name and why are you guys here? My name is Trina and I'm here because I have... All right, let me just stop it here because I want to try and guess real quick. If I'm going to be honest, if you're going to be an undercover cop, you cannot look like a cop. So this dude right here, if he's an undercover cop, he's going to be spotted in a second. So he's probably a criminal. She doesn't look like a cop, so it's possibly her, you know? It's possibly her. Of DUIs. Um, I also have a lot of traffic tickets. I'm Jeremiah. Jeremiah would Jeremiah would never get hired as an undercover cop. I'm just gonna say that right now. You look like a cop. You could be a cop, cop, but not an undercover cop, Jeremiah. Um, my convictions are receiving stolen goods, possession of paraphernalia, drunk in public, and disturbing the peace. I'm Andrew. When I was 15, which is four years ago. I was arrested for tagging on someone's walls. My name is Akil, and one time as a juvenile, I did a run. No, 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 Akil, you're suspect, my friend. You're suspect. Run out in a store with a group of fans, and it led to an arrest. My name is Ricky, uh, racing, reckless driving, and evading. Okay, my name is Kenya, and my last conviction was intent to defraud. I'm Isai. I also got some, got, got in some trouble with the law for street racing. I don't know, if I have to guess, Akil. You're the undercover cop. If it's not him, it's that first girl that I said. In the beginning, he was sketchy. Like his mannerisms, he seemed a bit nervous. What's everyone's profession? <laughs> what if someone was like, I'm an undercover cop. Oh, oh shit, oh fuck, I, I ruined the show. I rap cars, I do vinyl oh, raps. Do? What do you, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, you're a Q? Yeah. But it's your profession, I'm curious. I write books. I write books? What kind? Okay. Uh, Can you take off your hat romance. for a second? Yeah. Okay, I'm just trying to look because a lot of cops have conservative for sure. like style and hair. I'm, I agree. When did you get your GTA or whatever? GTA. GTA. Oh, uh, it was actually this year. Oh, Didn't you say year. it was GTA or oh no, you said racing? Street racing. Oh. Street racing. Yeah. I noticed that Trina, she's kind of accusing everybody else. Just the way he was standing really straight, his build. You know all cops gotta be big. <laughs> but he looks like a cop, so honestly, like I know when they pick these shows out, they definitely have to pick people that they know are gonna be like red herrings, like they're gonna throw you off. That's why I feel like it can't be him. I feel like it could be Trina. I feel like it could be Trina. She's standing there, she's standing there like a cop. I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know. I think because me being the only African-American player, it would be like, maybe he's the one, maybe that's the throw off. We were gonna say like what everybody does for their profession. Oh, I work at the California Science Center. I've been there for about two months. I'm a therapist. I'm a barista. I'm curious that, that when you stole the car or- I didn't steal the no, car. Speedy. First of all, first of all, Sorry, hold on. My mama Sorry, watching. Yo, she's trying to catch him in a lie, bro. That's some cop shit right there. No way, Trina, you're the cop. I'm saying it right now, it's Trina. Cops are pretty conservative, and I'm curious, because you guys street race, how come you guys don't have any tattoos? I do, I have, mine are all anime related, so I got Shenron right here. The anime checks out. Yeah, what check. about yours? Yeah. I don't have tattoos because of religious okay. reasons. Eastside didn't have any tattoos. It didn't seem like he had much of a criminal history that seemed like it was really legitimate. Are those real plugs, or those are the ones that are magnet? They're magnets, bro. Oh. Yeah, oh, so good question, good yeah. question. Oh. That's suspicious, bro. You got magnetic earrings on, bro. Magnetic earrings? Okay. I have my suspicion, like, why would someone want to wear fake earrings? Yeah. <laughs> so, stretching your ears hurts, and afterwards they smell, and I'm very sensitive to smell, so I gag. Did anybody do, like, any jail time? <laughs> yeah, I did three yes. months. Three okay. months? I was supposed to do two years, but I had a kid that was really young, and the judge kind of felt bad with my health problems at the time. Mm -hmm. And so he went ahead and gave me a weekend and I had to do that weekend and then I was released on Same. Monday. I did the two days, went to court. What about you? No, I never had to do jail. I personally didn't do any jail time because the cop that pulled me over, he literally like is a regular at my job. And <laughs> this dude, like he was like, bro. And I was like, I'm so sorry, dude. Like, They impound your car? Oh, so, so he, didn't, he didn't even give you a conviction? He yeah, just he let did. You know. He did. Oh. He didn't, he didn't take me in though. Oh, uh, yes. bro. I'm gonna say it's not him because if you were, if you're here to pretend to be a criminal, you're not gonna lie and say, 
you're not going to lie and say, I didn't do any jail time. You're going to say, oh, I did some jail time. So it, it's definitely not him. Shout out. I was so suspicious of Isai because he was just too goody goody. We have a three way tie. Oh, oh no! Oh, wow. <laughs> the tie is between Isai, Andrew, and Kenya. I looked at myself in the mirror when I got here and I was like, oh, probably not the right outfit for what I'm trying to portray. Each person will get 20 seconds to state your case. February, I was racing, got pulled over. March, had court, three months, license suspended. One of my record, all that. I mean, that's the only thing I've ever done though. That's why like the cop didn't take my car. I've been driving seven years prior to that. I had no tickets. So my criminal record is pretty extensive, but let's just start from my last and final arrest. I was arrested at the bank and I was cashing a check. It was all bad. I did three and a half years. It was not my first conviction. I had plenty of priors. I was just a tagger when I was like 15. So in my freshman year, I tagged someone's house. The cops caught me because it was by my school. Luckily, I didn't go to jail because it was my first time being arrested as a minor. So all they did was write me a ticket. For sure, good luck guys. Bro, you're not gonna lie about, like, if you're, if you're here to be a fake criminal, you're not gonna lie and say, I've done no criminal time. I don't even understand if he is the real criminal, I don't understand what classifies him as a criminal. If, I don't know, whatever. I don't have any tattoos, any, no piercings, so I guess they just don't put it together. Please raise your hand if you still have doubt and want to continue playing the game. You guys were on the chopping block, so I'm curious, like, why do you think that we would think that would be you two? I think I look too proper. I don't dress like this ever because I'm a stay-at-home mom. Usually you'll find me in sweats and like a t-shirt. I think I'm also dressed a little proper. I have the brogues, you know, I think that's the most expensive piece I have on me. I'm sorry, I'm gonna bring back to the earrings. Yeah. Why, if you're not a cop, why can't you just get the real plug? I've tried it and stretching your ears hurts. Yeah. But not, not at that gauge, it doesn't. I just feel like I didn't think it was too suspicious. I thought maybe he just liked the look. What kind of drugs have you done in your past? Maybe might still be using, and I'll go first. DXM, weed, alcohol. Basically, I've tried almost everything. I don't like weed, I don't like the smell, it gives me a headache, but I do drink. So in high school, I started drinking alcohol. I became an alcoholic. So in high school, I started drinking alcohol. I, I became an alcoholic. That is so suspect, boy. That is very suspect. With my friends, so I overcame my addiction, but every now and then when I'm with my family, I might have the occasional drink. He said he was an alcoholic at such a young age. I thought that was a little weird. I was gonna say, even the street racing, I could see people still probably hiring someone that, because it's not like, right. I don't say it's like a crime, like there's no one that gets hurt. Right. So mine was on the 210 freeway going past Pasadena. I was going like 110. I didn't see the cop, he was parked on the side. So you guys caught speeding. Right. No, but there was another, it was oh, an Audi was A4. Yeah. yeah, when I passed by, it took him a while to catch up because he started from nothing. So they said I was evading. So that's that was like an additional thing. And that, that was like $2,000 in fines. My car got impounded for 30 days and my license suspended for a year. I'm thinking that the record could still be look good for the cops though, I think. Yeah, I'd be kind of. it. He seemed a little more quiet. Goodbye, y'all. Bye. Nah, I don't think it was him, though. Damn. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed out because uh, my mom was rooting for me. So I told her, like, I'm a win for you and all that. But I mean, it's cool. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game in three, two, one. How do you guys feel about police? I oh, good. So I was going to say, what do, you, what do you, how do you guys feel about ACAB? Oh, ACAB. Do you know what that means? What does it stand for? All cops are bad. I thought it was bastards. bastards. Yeah. Uh, Trina and Jeremiah were partnered up. She got it wrong. So as soon as I saw that she got it wrong, I kind of just tried to scoot over and be a part of their group. 
<laughs> I get anxiety just riding in the car when a cop gets behind right. me. Really, mm -hmm. I, I start yeah. sweating. I freak right. out. I start like looking for my cigarette. I don't smoke. <laughs> really. It's crazy bad. I, I don't like. I'm so uneasy right. around cops. I know that there are good cops out there, but Where? I think that we just see. <laughs> no, because I mean, if we're gonna be realistic, there probably no, are. No, I mean it's true. Right? Yeah. But I think that we see so many in the media and stuff right. like that. There are bad abuse of power. I'm not even comfortable with like military people. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a military brat. Are, Are you? Yeah. I feel like they're different than cops. A lot of them come from war and then they turn into cops, police. Yeah. And there oh, I'm not really yeah. too sure where you stand now because... Where I stand? No, 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 them oh, in general. Like... Oh, I have a question. Yeah. How do your parents feel about that considering that you're a military brat? I grew up in a f***ed up family, so they kind of like <laughs> expected gotcha. like, us to kind of went astray. Gotcha. <laughs> when she came at me, I thought that was odd because it wanted to divert attention away from her. God, How about you? Yeah. I, I, I'm like, How you did your think family feel I, I, I think the mole is still here. I'm I do just too. Like, I feel it. I, yeah. So, I feel um, like I'm feeling uneasy in here. And I've always been into cars, so. Okay. Yeah, so, no, they kind of expected it. So like the street racing was expected? Uh, <laughs> kind of. he could have been the one that was the cop, you know, being that he was a military brat. I knew it. You guys fucked up, like hard. You guys fucked up. Good luck though. Please raise your hand if you still want to continue playing the game in three, two, one. So Why are you still playing as three people? Just vote the person out if you think it's them. Well, why didn't you hit, raise your hand when you said continue to play? You think you already got the Uh Yeah, I feel like you guys are kind of like straightforward. For you, I kind of felt like the tattoos kind of like just automatically ruled you out because I feel like you can't have anything showing. Yeah. I think what's alarming for me- Bro, but it's an undercover cop, so the point is to go undercover. That's why you should have tattoos. If it was six criminals versus one cop, then play that game, but you guys are playing it wrong. Undercover cops are gonna have tattoos because they, because they need to blend in with, with the criminals. And also, if you're an undercover cop, it's literally your job to pretend you're a criminal. So, honestly, whoever the undercover cop is, is probably, they have a really good advantage here. That's why I think it's Trina. I'm just gonna say that right now again. Me with you is the fake. Yeah, that was the I feel you. Was that like, was the main concern. Yeah. If someone really wanted it and the style, it would be real, right? Because then you don't have to always have the magnet. I will say though, that's, that is true, the magnets, but mm, you know, same thing, bro. You, if you're gonna be undercover, you gotta play the part. So don't go, you're not gonna go half ass and get some freaking fake gauges, because then the, then the criminals are gonna be like, why do you have fake gauges, man? I just saw you stab a guy and you can't even pierce your ears? Are yeah. you technically in the medical field? I'm in the, I, I'm a therapist. Is that considered like the medical field? The psychology is about the brain, okay. so. Because I know that takes like a, uh, kind of clean record. I mean, I can't really think of anything no. other than that. Mm -hmm. At least my board of behavioral sciences is very forgiving with things like that. I'm just thinking like, cause nurses can't be a nurse if you have like a DUI. So right. like- But nurses are administering medicine. That's dangerous. They could be stealing the medicine. Okay. They could oh, be so dosing. so you can't do that then. I'm, I'm a therapist, not a psychiatrist. Oh, okay, oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. That's where the mix up was. I'm trying to throw me off. I'm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Right. I'm surprised they didn't get voted out sooner because the whole earrings thing. If the light turns green, that means you have voted out the mole and you win. If the light turns red, that means the undercover cop is still in the box and you lose. Yes! Oh my god, I got the money. <laughs> See what, man? Damn, I really thought it was Trina. Hey, hey. Mm. Oh my um, god, I knew we got it out. I got it. <laughs> Will the undercover cop please step forward and reveal yourself in three, two, one, go. <gasps> oh! It's the fake earrings, bro. Nah, fake earrings for the win, bro. That's crazy. You got me, kid. I was defending you too. <laughs> we, we got it. We got you. I was so close what? though. I was definitely surprised. That was the only person that I trusted, mainly because of the similar crime been a cop for like two years. I love my job. I get to help a lot of people. Unfortunately, when I do get called, I do see people on their worst days. I want to help people, but not everybody's accepting that help. 
you can't really judge a book by its cover, but I mean, for them, I would have never, if I'd seen them working, never would have thought that any of them had either been arrested. Anyone is capable of committing a crime, but you have to learn from those things and you have to try to be the better person after you've made those mistakes. It took me to really sit down and look at myself and where I didn't want to be in life to pretty much change everything up. Once you have a record or once you've been to jail, you know, it's almost kind of like, once a cheater, always a cheater. That's not the case. Well, they got me. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Live forward, learn backwards. Peace.